chance to live life now. I'm Phil Kogan, and this is No Opportunity Wasted. This is the story of two men who play for keeps. Postal worker Mike Orsini puts his life on ice to reach for his dream. Gold. Gold. Yeah, <laughs> gold. His challenge? To stand in the line of fire as the goalie of a professional hockey team. He has no f clue. He has no clue. Really? No clue. At all. And just $3,000 to live life now. Join us as Mike Orsini pucks the odds in Alabama and Garth Redwood looks for a knockout in LA. No Opportunity Wasted is about living each day as if it were your last. A philosophy I came up with after nearly drowning in a shipwreck. Thousands of viewers have applied to live their life to the fullest on national television. Now, for those I selected, I've cleared their schedule and will help them seize the opportunity to live life now. I'm off to find our first challenger this week. You're about to meet a man who has a dream every sports fan would envy. To experience the life of a professional athlete and play one game of pro ice hockey. Mike Orsini has spent the last 30 years posting letters in the mailboxes of Rochester, New York. He's also played in amateur hockey league since 1974. Mike has a girlfriend, Kathy. He's dying to impress. He's decided the best way is to battle it out on the ice with professional hockey players half his age. As an amateur, Mike's blocked pucks traveling 30 miles an hour. In pro games, they fly three times faster. Over the next 72 hours, we'll see if he can turn his dream into action. Join me for no opportunity wasted. Third period, Rochester Americans leading the St. John Major. This is the Blue Cross Hockey Arena. Inside, Mike Orsini, a 49-year-old postal worker and father of three. This guy is a huge hockey fan, and he's right now working as an off-ice official and has no idea that he's been chosen to live life now. Looking for Mike Orsini. Anybody seen Mike Orsini? This is Mike Orsini right here. My name is Phil Cogan from a show called No Opportunity Wasted, where we give people $3,000 and 72 hours to fulfill a dream that they've always had. Mike Orsini, please come on over here. Give this man a round of applause, please. Oh, that's a surprise. Mike Orsini, we received your application to play hockey with a professional ice hockey team. Now, the good news is we've cleared your schedule. And MasterCard has given you $3,000 on this card to fulfill your dream. That's for you. But you're going to have to put in all the hard work to make it happen. Just remember that imagination is your currency. Now, this is the now flag which you can take with you and plant at the end of your dream. So you have everything you need, you've sent in your dream, but we have a question for you, Mike. Which is, Mike Garcini, are you ready to do your dream now? I'm ready. Let me hear it, Mike. I'm ready. Let me hear it, Mike. I'm ready. Everybody give this man a round of applause. Mike's friends are certain he can deliver. But he's got just $3,000 and 72 hours to prove it. Hi, Mike! Hi, Mike! Are you excited? Are you excited? Yeah. Hi, Mike! Hi! You know what? You know what the one thing is? Is Mike always yeah. does for everybody else, so this is Mike's chance! Yeah! yeah. Mike called every pro hockey team in the book to see if they'd let him play a game. Asking a professional ice hockey team to let a rookie play in a game with his real money and reputations on the line is unheard of. But after months of phone calls and emails, Mike found a team that was up to the idea, and now he's calling them to see if they'll honor their promise. Only one team agreed to give him a chance. A hot minor league team based in Alabama called the Channel Cats. Hey, you've reached Ashley Balch with the Huntsville Channel Cats. You've reached the front office of the Huntsville Channel Cats. Hi, this is Marie. Leave your name and number. Please check the number and dial. Please leave your message after the tone. The game will be easy compared to this. At last, he scores. 
Hello, Mr. Manning? Yes. Uh, this is Mike Orsini in Rochester. Yeah, hey, Mike, how you doing? Well, would you like a new goalie? Uh, we're looking forward to a new goalie. Congratulations. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Good luck. I always played goal for the last 31 years, and I always was curious how I would do or face pro shots. 12 hours into his challenge, a tired postal worker is about to become a channel cap. Before he can nod off, Mike is summoned to the team stadium. It's a nice arena. I've done a lot of work. Got a couple of couple of banners up uh, from the Southern League and the Central League, and then they're just putting the ice down, so it's. It's kind of misty in there. It's loud in here, too. It holds noise real well. Okay, now you got me nervous. Okay. <laughs> it's more important the name in front than the name in back. Very nice. First up, Mike will face a medical exam. I'm ready. This is where I come after the game, too? <laughs> Greco, how are you? Nice, nice to meet you. Mike Rossini. All right. All right. We'll get you taken care of. Right. Nice to meet you. Good. Bring your chin down your chest. Mike is twice the age of the average player. No problems doing that no. at all? Doesn't hurt when I mash down your head at all? No. Any blood pressure problems? No. Okay. Any problems with your heart or lungs that you know about? No. Arms up. Don't want to push down. Keep your arms up. Boy. Any problems with your eyes? No. Make an A-OK -okay sign? About deep breath. Walk on your tiptoes. Walk on your heels. Any problems with your stomach? Got any ulcers, liver problems, no. gallbladder problems? Squat down and jump as high as you can go. There you go. I need to do a quick hernia check. Unless you want a rectal exam, I'm not going to do a rectal exam. Darn. Okay. There you go. You have to drop your trousers there. Yeah, it's going to hurt. All right. We'll go the way and cough for me. <coughs> okay. And cough again. <coughs> Good. No hernia. Very good. Welcome to Huntsville. Thank you. I'm looking forward to suturing you up here, okay? okay yeah. Remember, I already put 32 in Bresh, so you got to beat that record, okay? Well, that would be a good momento to take home. Absolutely. After the prodding, Mike does some promotion, hitting the local media to tell Huntsville they've got a new goalie. When I first wrote the teams, I was thinking I would hear from the last place teams the playoffs and everything, but I didn't expect to get a first place team that had a 28 point lead. And are you going to practice with the team, Eddie? Tomorrow morning. Maybe they'll let their guard down a little and I'll see more shots than I normally would. If it hits me here, it's going to hurt more. Don't be looking at me. I'll be so, I'll be shaking. Whether I get killed or, you know, the score gets run up or I win, I, the dream is going to be realized. That's awesome. Good luck. Good. We'll see you. you on the ice. While Mike prepares for the big game in Huntsville, Back when I was 28, I got to be manager for a night for a AAA baseball team. But the manager didn't want me to do anything except sit on the bench. But you really didn't get to do anything. Here I get to do something. I could win or lose a game for these guys. This is where he's going to sleep? Yeah. Oh, my back. Yeah. <laughs> 24 hours ago, Mike Orsini left home to become a goalie for a professional ice hockey team. So far, he's passed the physical. He's faced up to the media. He's met the coach and the players. And for now, this is his new home. I was worried about how anyone would resent me being here because they, these guys are pros and I'm not. I know they're going to appreciate their goalie after I'm gone. <laughs> the next morning, Mike reports in with the Channel Cats personal trainer. How are you doing? I made it. You made it? Yeah. Come Come on on last here. night. Now, let's get you signed up. Mike's hoping this workout won't turn into a wipeout. I need you to feel least comfortable being in there, all right? Mike's first practice starts in just two hours. For goalies, that means facing a firing squad of shooters with pucks moving at 90 miles an hour. And you have three shooters at once. One shoots from the left, one shoots from the center, and one shoots from the right. They just bam, bam, bam. 30 hours into his challenge, the team's head coach thinks that Mike Orsini is about to get a reality check. He has no clue. He has no clue. Really? No clue at all. He's, just, he's, in, he's in over his head, but he'll find out in about the first five minutes. Uh, it'll, be, uh, it'll be pretty funny, uh, pretty fun to watch. He thinks he knows, but he has no idea. He's been playing uh, men's pickup hockey for years, and 
and pucks are coming at them at 30 miles an hour, and they're going to be coming at them at 90 miles an hour. My guys aren't going to let up. But as practice begins, the players go easy on him in spite of themselves. Coach Gibson lays down the law. Hey, I don't give a hell. Who's in next? Shoot the puck like you mean it. You're not doing him any good. Go like that. Shoot like he's a regular damn goalie. It's embarrassing. Let's go. As the puck screamed past him, Mike's dream is literally brought to its knees. See if you got any lungs on you, Mikey. Mike's like, what? This ain't Disney World? What's going on? You can do it, Mikey. The coach is cutting Mike no breaks. This guy's down here, okay, obviously trying to fulfill a dream. Well, let's not take it easy on him. I mean, he's got to show us that he's going to play for us. He's got to work his ass off to show us he wants to be here. Are we going there and flip shots at him and make him look good? Doesn't help him out. Doesn't get him ready to go for Wednesday. So, hey, if you light him up, you light him up. We've got to let them know what's coming at them Wednesday. Let's prepare them, okay? He's, uh, we've already taken a quick check at his gear, and I don't know if it's uh, quite uh, up to par either, but uh, hopefully uh, he can uh, stay, <laughs> stay away from the hospital. I don't know. Just 24 hours before Mike hits the ice for the big game, this is his last chance to hone his skills and face up to pro pucks traveling in excess of 95 miles an hour. Hey, you gotta talk to the D, eh? Open your mouth up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, got him! With tough love from the team, Mike's reflexes start to sharpen. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Oh. Juice boy, little juice boy. Hey, Mike. Help you. I cancel all activities for the rest of the day and scheduled in a nap for you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> How was first practice? Well, I'm not that excited right now, but uh, I thought I could have played better. But as I said earlier, uh, you get pumped up for games. And so you play better in games than you would in practices, and hopefully that's going to happen tomorrow. There's not much he can improve on uh, time-wise. Um, he, his God-given skills is what he's got, uh, but what we can work on is maybe his, his confidence and uh, his mental uh, game preparation. After a wake-up call on the ice, Mike will need a major upgrade to his weekend hockey skills. Will this middle-aged rookie be able to pull it together, or maybe just a couple of hamstrings. The ice bath is a necessary evil to remove crippling lactic acid from Mike's leg muscles. Yeah. Cold? Cold. Yeah. Cold. Yeah, get that lactic acid out of there. You'll be good. Uh, it's worse than practice. <laughs> I'm not nervous about facing it. I'm nervous about uh, Embarrassing myself. I mean, I've been embarrassed a lot over, you know, 31 years, but uh, I'll embarrass myself here in front of maybe four or 5,000 people. And uh, so that's a little different. Mike will pay to have his girlfriend Kathy and his two sons fly down for the game. Hey, well, I'm looking forward to seeing the three of you, uh, four of you even, Ricky. Yes. And uh, so looking forward to it and uh, love you. Tonight's going to be my night, hopefully. And that one game, you know, that's all I want is one game. One game to play good and walk away. In Huntsville, Alabama, the crowd is waiting for Mike Orsini to hit the ice, ready or not. Pick your spots on the fights. OK, let's not load the benches up in the penalty box like we did last game. We don't have the bodies, neither do they. So if you're going to do it, make sure we got enough people on the bench. OK, boys? And. Basically, we're here for, for the big man tonight. Uh, we, we do have the best job in the world, boys. And uh, tonight's uh, Orsini's night. So let's go out there and get him a big W. Mike's girlfriend and his two sons are in the stands. So now it's all up to Mike. I know I want to get in there and just get started. And that first shot's going to be important, that if I can save it, 
it'll just kind of be a release. One, two, three! Yeah. It'll just make things a lot easier. Opposing the Channel Cats are the Fire Ants, a team known for ganging up on the goalie. Mr. Mike Orsini. It's time for a face-off on a dream. The Fire Ants get the puck and zone in on Mike's goal. Mike makes his first save. Nice pass, Coley. The Cats have the puck. The Fire Ants stop them at their goal. And I got four. Coach Gibson is seeing a little more fire out of the Ants than expected. Getting blocked by an amateur has given the enemy an attitude. He's hot, boy. He's hot. Kathy's boyfriend makes his second save, and the Cats make their first goal. Mike is doing so well, the Cats start ribbing their regular goalie. Yeah. <laughs> you think you might take your position? You never know. I don't want it. I don't want it. You don't want it? Practices are too hard. <laughs> 20 miles to get better, boys. Everything smart. Do the little things. Getting better every shift, preparing for the playoffs, boys. 20 minutes, five at a time. One, two, three, three. When Mike returns to the rink, he's fired up. But the fire ants are itching to bite. But as the ants go postal, the mailman delivers. As the cats go on the offensive, a fender bender leads to a junkyard brawl. Never fail! Never fail! You always want to be part of the game! Stepping on fire ants is a bad idea. Mike is about to face their rage. Hey, he's holding it from him! Hold it! Hold it! Shoot, bud! The fire ants score. The Cats are just a game away from making the playoffs. Coach Gibson decides it's time to put Mike on the bench. Hey, if, uh, depending on where we get here uh, in the third period, I'll throw you back in. Okay. All right. We got 20 minutes to go here, eh, boys? We're not done yet. Let's play smart. Orsini did us proud with that jersey tonight, boys. Okay, so let's play hard to now. Maybe we can throw him back in at the end of the game. Okay, guys, and finish this story off the way it should be. All right, here we go, boys, here we go. Hey, let's give uh, Matt the same support you gave me and get this game over with, and you guys can go on to the playoffs and take it from there. One, two, three, two! Yeah! In the last period, the Cats claw their way to two more goals against the Fire Ants. dominate the ice, and Mike watches his dream end from the sidelines. Get your stuff on. Get your stuff on. Let's go. Finish it off here. As the clock runs out, Mike gets a second chance. Hey, just play your game, all right? You've got two minutes left to go. Just play your game. I think it's pretty safe. Okay. 
In the end, the fire ants are extinguished by the Cats and a rookie goaltender from Rochester. sports and, and the level you get to you're sometimes limited by your skill okay and your heart and your drive and I think that uh, I mean Mike obviously knew that he was gonna be a little bit out of his element when he came down here but it, his heart is what brought him out here with us tonight and got us to win and uh, if, it, if it only came down to heart Mike you'd be in the NHL boy <laughs> sports fans fantasy of playing a game of a professional sport and he came out and he did it and in the end he wasted no opportunity he did his dream now ladies and gentlemen give it up again one more time please for Mike Rossini uh, I just have to thank the channel cats the players the front office for giving me this chance. And um, the fans here and the people of Huntsville, they've been so open and receptive to everything. Uh, I can't thank you all enough. And I, I, you know, my dream came true here and I have one more dream I would like to fulfill. Uh, Kathy, could you come out here a minute? Kathy? Mike has surprised everyone with his courage and grace. And now, it's time to surprise Kathy. She kept this from me for a month that she knew, and uh, I didn't find out till Sunday night. So she surprised the hell out of me, and I want to try and surprise her. So, Kathy. Mike Orsini left Rochester with $3,000 and a dream. 72 hours later, he returns home with a new wife and a priceless memory because he lived life now. As Mike celebrates his mother,